Today in our 2007 GMC Sierra, we're going to be taking a look at and we're also going to show you how to install the Torque Lift Custom Frame Mounted Camper Tie Downs. These are for the rear. Part number is TLR3500. Now here's what our camper tie down is going to look like once we have it mounted up on our vehicle. Now this is in the non-used position, so this is going to be kind of your stored position. As you can see, it doesn't really come down below the, the bed of the truck here too much. And you could adjust that up just a little bit higher if you wanted to on your hitch, just depending on, on the configuration you're looking for. But it's going to give us superior holding power. This mounts directly to the side of the hitch. What we can then do is take our arm. We want to make sure, you can see it's offset. We want that longer portion to be towards the rear of the vehicle in the rear. Just slide that in. We're going to have two holes to choose from. Just a standard bail pin. Here's what we'll use to secure it. That's going to be provided. So you can see we've got our, our further out setting. That's going to be for those wider campers that kind of have a little bit more overhang as they came, come over the side of the truck. And then we've got a setting. It's going to be just a little bit narrower here. That's for those little bit smaller campers. That's going to kind of help us to get a good straight pull on our, our cables so we're not kind of pulling out or pulling in on them. Now these are going to ride in here. We've got a connection point at the rear and at the front, depending on which one of these will work better for your application. And once we have them tight, now you'll see they're a little bit loose right now, but once we have our camper in place there and we get them tightened down, that's going to pull up on them and it really gives us superior holding power. This is going to be much, much, much stronger than the old style that the customer had here, which were just basically screws that went into the bumper. You know, that bumper I'm sure was flexing as that camper would move side to side and it's just not ideal. It's where these torque lift mounts are really, really going to come in handy, keep us very, very safe and keep our cargo secure keep it from shifting side to side as we head down the road. You can see both portions of our frame brackets are going to be fully powder coated. They've got kind of a hammered finish to give them kind of a nice look. They last a good long time. The ones that have been on the front of this truck have been on here for quite some time and they still look the same. They're labeled here on the end so we'll know driver's rear and passenger rear. Once we have them in place we'll just put those stickers on so we never have to look back at the instructions or anything. And when we're done we simply want to pull that bail pin. Our arm's going to slide out. We can store it in one of the lockers on our cabinet there, store it right inside the door. So the next time we'll know exactly where they're at. We can get them slid in, but they're not going to be constantly sticking out beside the vehicle when we're going about our everyday business. Now these camper tie downs are unique as into where they're going to fit actually on the receiver hitch itself. This is going to give us a great mounting location. It's nice and secure. And we just want to kind of get it up here in position where we want it to go. Want to make sure that we've got room behind it to place bolts in. Once we know where it's going to go there, make sure it's level. And it's time to start marking those whole locations. All those look good. Now we're going to start with a smaller drill bit. We want to get our pilot holes drilled here. Now with all four holes drilled out, just want to take our frame bracket and pass a bolt through. Now it doesn't really matter if we go from the inside to the outside or outside to the inside. You can kind of put it up there either way. Put on a flat washer, a lock washer, and then one of our nuts. And then we'll just need to repeat that process for the other three hole locations. Now, if we look in the instructions, we'll find our torque specifications. We'll want to go through and torque down each of our bolts accordingly. All right, and that takes care of our frame bracket here on this side. We just need to go over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And that'll complete our installation of the Torque Lift Custom Frame Mounted Camper Tie Downs for the rear, part number TLR3500 on our 2007 GMC Sierra Classic. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.